I bought this very old uh, analog meter uh, via the internet. In the Netherlands we have the so-called Marktplaats and it was not completely defective but a little bit. So you had to repair it. And that's what is the what this video is all about. Analog meters often, not often, but more or less always have in their inner side precision resistors. And you see a bunch of them. They are often not color coded. And there is of course always uh, an indication about the value. And here you see for instance one of these resistors that was burnt out almost. I think it had to do with the um, ampere meeting, amp meeting. So I measured it first. So when it burns out in the future I know how to replace it. And there was a very uh, strange battery inside of this meter. Perhaps it's very interesting to show it. it. This meter is of the 1970s. And perhaps interesting for the YouTube channel Battery Maker. Let me show that peculiar battery. It's here. 22.5 volts. It is photo, a photo flash battery. Of course, in those days, 1970s, we had analog flashes. So, no digital flashes. For instance, here, this is a flash circuit out of a, by the way, an analog um, a photo camera. But anyway, uh, these old flashes used a tiny wire of magnesium and the battery had to ignite that magnesium wire. So it had to be quite a quite high voltage. So I think it's a unique battery. Of course uh, I can perhaps buy it in the Netherlands but I made a, I salvaged it in a more simple way making a battery holder here and in which uh, I have uh, mounted these classical CR2032 lithium cells. I couldn't solder to them. That was a problem. So I had to make a kind of stack here inside. So finally I had that 22 volt that I needed. But that's not what this video is about. It is about say burnt out resistors, precision resistors in such a meter. Uh, when you don't have a schematic and you see a brown resistor or a completely burnt out one. Here is the one that was burnt out. You cannot measure it because uh, it doesn't conduct anymore. So what to do? Uh, search where that resistor is. Uh, solder two wires to the pins when it is when it is possible, and then do experiments. You have to find, of course, the value of that unknown resistor. And you can mount here, for instance, uh, all kinds of resistors. And then I mean searching for the exact value, and the exact value is very important. And because otherwise, otherwise, the pointer of the meter uh, does not point to the exact point where it has to point. So I hope it was a little bit. That was a little bit clear. So again, this this meter, uh, these wires are going inside to the switch of the meter, and here is my experimental found resistor, and it has everything to do with the ohms measurement, and here it is uh, uh, multiplied by one, by by hundred, by 
5000 and by 10,000. And for 10,000, measuring the 10,000 resistors, you needed this 22 volt battery. This one. So, that was the way that I solved that problem. Anyway, the battery is not the, uh, the first thing to talk about. Finding out, more or less, the precise value of that unknown resistor. Well, um, first ID, use a potentiometer and mount uh, to the leads of the ohms meter a resistor. And that resistor here has to match with the uh, ohms range that you want to repair. In this case it was the uh, multiply by one range. So I mounted here a 10 ohm resistor and then finally searched for the exact resistor that had to um, replace the burnt out one. That's now fallen out, fallen off my table. So, uh, sorry for all the movements again. So, uh, at first, um, make a connection between the two probes then align the meter with the ohms adjustment to the zero and then start to search at first via a um, potentiometer that you know a little bit in the uh, about the range where you have to search that precise resistor measure the, the, the potentiometer and then you know say it's it has to be in the 10 kilo ohm range or in the 1000 ohm range and in this case that resistor had to be in the 1000 ohm range and after that use a few resistors could be of any kind till you find when you have of course in this case well I can only give this example in this case I used a 10 ohm resistor and now uh, the pointer must be exactly on 10. So search and uh, solder resistors till the pointer of the meter is exactly on that 10 ohm. And then you have found the unknown resistor. This is of course, an example that example that only uh, regards the um, uh, multiply by one scale, but of course uh, Ohm's law is valid, and all the electric laws are valid. So this principle also will will work on the multiply by hundred ohms, multiply by thousand ohms, etc. Scales. Hope it was a little bit clear. You can find that unknown burnt out resistor in your uh, analog ohms meter, uh, even when you don't have the schematic. Only problem in this meter was that it needed a, such a high volt battery 22.5 um, volts. Um, and furthermore, it worked okay. Thanks for watching.